Hello friends, welcome to today's Python programming and data science class. And in this class, we will see the another part of function examples. Okay, here we are going to see how to pass list as argument in a function. So for that, I am explaining three different examples. That is very simple programs to explain passing list as argument. The first program, we are going to pass list as argument. This list contains a list of colors. And second one, we are going to pass a string that is a list of characters that will be passed to the function argument. And the third one, this is another example. Here, the function with multiple list as arguments and the function will return a list to the main program. Okay. Let us see all these things one by one with very simple example. So here the first program is list as argument. Okay, very simple program. In the argument, that is the function argument, I am going to pass a list as argument. Okay, so here I am having a list of colors. First let us see the main program. In the main program, I am having a variable. This variable is a list and this list contains the colors. Okay, red, green, blue white and pink these are the color okay see color data type is list and what is the size of list size is 5 what are the values here red green blue white and pink so these are the things we can see in the variable explorer okay i'm using spider so in the variable explorer we can see the name of the list type size and the value also. So I have created one list here and I am having one function. The name of the function is fn function that means underscore list underscore argument okay of color that means this is the function this function parameter is color color is a list right next the control will go here. The control will go here. I am defining the function here. Def fn underscore list underscore argu of c1. Here the c1 is nothing but this particular color. Isn't it? This color will come here. Okay. For x in c1. x. This x indicates all the values in this particular list okay this list contains five values so this particular far will be executed five times okay five times what is this print x the value will be printed here right what are the values we are having we are having these five values in the list red green blue white and pink all these things will be printed here and written okay and after executing in our console window we can see the output what are the output here the first to print that will print red here in the second iteration that will print green blue white and pink okay all the list items will be printed here so this is the very simple example for explaining list as argument okay so for calling a particular function with an argument the argument type is list right do you understand this okay and this is the second example here i'm going to pass string as argument so we already know String is nothing but a collection of characters. Okay. A collection of characters which are enclosed by double quotes or single quotes. Okay. See in the main program, I am having a string value Kupam Engineering College. See in the variable explorer, we can see color is the name of this particular variable. Type is string. Size is 27. So the value is from engineering college okay so function 
list argument is my function name with this color variable. So the color variable is nothing but the string. Isn't it? So I am going to pass a string here. When come to the function here. Okay. Def function list of argument is C1. Here what is the value of C1? C1 is a list of characters. A list of characters. Okay. String is nothing but a list of characters. Here for x in C1. For x in C1. This x indicates all the characters in the string. K, U, B, P, A, M. Space. Space is also a character. Okay. So it will count including everything. So x indicates all the characters in this particular string. Hence the string is also a list. Okay. And print of x. And print of x. Then return. Okay. So what is the output of this particular program? See this is the output. See all the x value will be printed one by one. So the far will be executed how many times? The iteration will be executed 27 times. 27 times. So this is the output. Okay. So it will display each and every character one by one. Okay. Now let us see the another example. That is the program list as argument. List as arguments and return a list from the function. This is our third example. Okay. So we are having two different lists. List 1 list 2 we are having two different list and from two from this two different list i am going to create the list 3 third list and this list contains the merge of these two list merged value of these two list okay we know what is meant by merging isn't it so we are going to merge and sort these two list values and this value will be stored in the list 3 Right? Let us see the program for this one. So, first let us see the main program here. We are having list 1. List 1 contains this much values. And list 2 contains these values. We are having two lists. Okay? Now, let us print the list 1 and list 2. There is no problem in this. This is the output. We can see the list 1 and list 2. There is no problem here. Okay. After that, for this list 3, I am having one function, add list. Okay. Add list is the function which contains two arguments and these two arguments are nothing but the list. Okay. I am going to pass the list 1 and list 2 as argument here. Okay. Now, the control will comes here. Def add list of L1 comma L2. L1 is nothing but list 1 and L2 is nothing but list 2. And now L3 I am going to create another variable. This is the local variable. Local variable. L3 is the local variable and this is accessible only inside this function. So this is called as local variable. Okay. So L3 is nothing but L1 plus L2. L1 plus L2. Now, what is the value of L3 here? What is the value of L3? L1 plus L2. L3 equal to, what are the values from list 1? Just to tell me, 4, 27, 21, 5, 19, 16. After that, L2 values will come. What are the values of L2 here? Just to tell me, 12, 17, 23, 13, 56, 45. So this is the actual value of L3. Now what we have to do? We have to sort this L3. We have to sort this L3. So what is the command for this? L3 dot sort. This particular command is used to sort the values of L3. 
okay after that return l3 this is very important this particular function will return l3 and this l3 will be assigned to list 3 in the main program right do you understand now all right so list 3 equal to add list of list 1 comma list 2 so the add list function is having two parameters of list value and the returned l3 will be assigned to this l3 that is list 3 sorry now print l list 1 plus list 2 equal to list 3 okay what is the list 3 value see the sorted value of all these things so the sorted value of l3 will be assigned to this list 3 this list 3 okay do you understand now Okay, this is very simple one. Please try once of yourself, then it will be very easy to understand. Right? Thank you. In the next class, I will give another topic with very simple example. Right? If you have any doubt, you can add in the comment box. Thank you.